What's going on YouTube? My name is Diesel and today we are back in Scrap Mechanic. I want to thank everyone for all the love and support on these videos. Make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming videos, folks. On Wednesday we did a live stream and uh, it was pretty fun. We had about 150 people strong inside of the stream. I want to thank everyone for checking that out. Uh, the replay is on the channel. Go ahead and check it out in the playlist. So, um, we started making a kind of like futuristic Mars rover type thing car with a, a suspension that is not of the norm in uh, Scrap Mechanic. Uh, I learned it from a character named Brent Batch. He's a character just because you are a character does not mean that you have character. But um, he's on YouTube. I will put the link to the tutorial in the description down below and I'll give you a little idea here as well uh, just so everyone gets the gist. But we have completed it. It's the diesel rover. The diesel rover. Rover, rover. Rover, rover. Haha. <laughs> nice. Let's just put that away. I'll put it here away. Oh, yeah. Let's go into the... To the mode here. Oh. It's got solar panels, a couple uh, tanks for either air or oxygen or fuel, depending on uh, what uh, deal that you're dealing. Uh, it has a back hatch. Eight wheels. We uh, had six wheels in the live stream but I added the two in the back because it was getting a little, it's a little booty heavy <laughs> it's a little a little heavy in the booty it's going total it's going it's a straight Nicki Minaj build it's it's heavy in the booty um, so I've had to modify it and uh, I actually after the live stream uh, Brent Batch came on to this world and he was like dude you did it all wrong let me show you so how the suspension there are no suspensions in this build other than spring glitches so there's spring glitches forward backward uh, I'll show you those in a second but how they work how this suspension works is we have bearings here alright so with the bearings and the weld tool you can form a kind of suspension which stretches the bearings so that that way you can have a nice range of motion now all of these bearings as you see on the rover are not connected to anything. It's just all free formed, free base, or free basing, or free forming, and uh, they're free moving. But since these two pieces are welded together, it all becomes one, and these bearings stretch it. it it's kind of like breaking the game here a little bit. So it's almost like another glitch, but it's one that's fantastic. It's a fantastic glitch. <laughs> so let's build one here real quick. So uh, let's put the. I'm just gonna pop you down here. Pop it down here. Uh, hmm. I forgot how to do this already. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. All right. So, we'll take this. Bang, bang, and then we'll take you. Ho, ho, ho. And then we'll take a little curved pipe joint here. Now you can do this any which way you prefer, depending on what kind of build. So two bearings right next to each other. Fantastic. Are you down? Are you down like a clown, Charlie Brown? Boom, boom. Yes. So what we will do. Boom. And then. Oh. Oh. See, I've already done messed up. I've already messed it up. Let me just show you how I did it over there. Let's not get, let's not get nutty here. Let's not get crazy. Let's not get getting all crazy now. Fail. Hold on here. How did I do this? <laughs> it's so stupid. All right. This is how I do it. Okay. Okay. Take these two pieces. Make sure that they are on the bearing. Then you take them and you weld them together. Fantastic. Good stuff. Now, take this. Boom, boom, boom. Take that, bang, and then we can stretch it out from there. Then we take our bearings, not our bearings, but our little joints here. Put two bearings here, two bearings here, well, one bearing there, two bearings in total. Boom, boom, take you, make sure it's attached to the bearing. Then we weld this piece on there. 
Bang. Nice. Whoops. Hoot. Then you put the Baron and as a wheel. And when you let it go, let it go. See how it kind of has a little bit of a give to it. Now if you keep on adding a little bit more weight, we can demonstration. We can demonstrate how it does with the heaviness. Now since it is a bearing suspension for the most part, get ready for some serious lag in your world. Let's see. See how it just gives a little bit. Give a little bit. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Gives a little bit for the weight on your rear core, on your rear core, on your ride. So it gives a little bit in the suspension. Now you can also make it more loose if you add double suspension, if you add double bearings to this piece, it'll make it a little looser, goosier. It'll make it stiff. But I haven't done the double. I have not done the double. I have not done the double. So, it's all single bearing. Single side, single bearings. Bang, 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 bang. We have two engines. Engines go, uh, one engine goes to the steering, the wheels that steer, which are the two, uh, the four around the corners, and then the two, uh, the four in the center, like two, four in the center have a, another engine. All right, we press E to get into the booty. And then we enter. We got the double D, double D sign. Uh, one, two, three, four, five, six controllers all basically doing random stuff. Some of the stuff doesn't isn't even attached to anything. Actually, that's a lie. Because this actually is the spring glitch in the bottom, just in case we get a little back or front heavy. It's fantastic. And of course, the brand new glass and the brand new windshields that they have given us. We also have a radar on the top and two solar panels on the side to kind of even everything out. It's gorgeous. I did have the solar panels. The solar panels are just like ceramic tile, the tile block. Uh, just spray painted black and of course the windshield on the back but we also have a radar which is switch number three so we can just go ahead and we can spin that bad boy around here and then two brings the booty hatch in and then one to get out is just the, the hatch here nice compact it's tiny but yet what we need now there's a sensor in the front which is set to 11 blocks so that if it feels like it's going forward too much the spring glitches will then bring it back so that you don't go forward all kinds of nifty and crazy see see once we go back and that back sensor is just in case we flip now this is not unflippable I was trying to make it unflippable but I just there's too much space too little space for what I can do but look at that suspension baby it works and on the back, it may be a little stiffer because uh, I was just kind of, oh, 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 mistakes have been made. It does like a bug. The bug, it's on his back. Come on, man. Uh, 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 uh. We are getting a little bit of frame right now. Like, no, I don't want to open that. Let's just put that back. Hello? Help. Screw it. Come here. I'll put you down here. Come on. There we go. That a, that a girl. Yeah, so it's a, it's set for a little bit too fast. But you know what? Sometimes you get the need. The need for speed. Let's head back on in here. Let's get a drive. Two. So as you can see, once it goes a little bit forward, so it was to stop, the sensor then stops it from rolling forward by hitting the spring glitches. So that is what I was going for with the spring glitches. Let's turn on the radar. I wonder how good, I wonder how this is going to go over some mountain tops, over some rough terrain. It does go a little fast for a Mars rover, so you can adjust the uh, adjust the speeds, if you will. I I ain't gonna be mad at you, but look at all these little bumps. Look at how the suspension works over top of all these awesome little bumps. Normally, your thing would be going crazy, but this is just fine. It's smooth. It's riding smooth as butter, baby. It's on a roll. Woo! It does go a little too quick, a little too fast for what we need it for. Hence the reason why it'll probably flip really easy because it is a bit top heavy. 
a, just a, a smidge, a tad top heavy. But you know what? I like it. I like how it came out. I'm a big fan. Of course, we do have some uh, extended like wiring on the top. Oh, oh god, it's happened again. <laughs> hey, we. It's a little too fast. Let's see if we can maybe slow it down a smidge, a hint, a curmudgeon. All right, come here. There we go. Now we have these bad boys set to, I think. Yeah, it's a little, it's a little, it's a little high. Uh, I'm a little high. No, I want to get high. Tal, you're the worst character ever. Oh no. Uh, let's see if we can get in here. In you go. And we're off. That's more like it. That's more of our speed. That's the gist that we can get down with. You know what I'm saying, man? So the Diesel Rover, she is complete. Uh, not 100% complete, but, you know, it's a lot better than what it was. I think that's, uh, yeah, I think bringing it down just a little bit helps out a lot. Now, the back two tires, I've modified the suspension a little bit to try and make it fit because if I were to do another rack just like I did the first six wheels the back hatch wouldn't open so that's the reason why it looks a little weird in the back but I think that it works out let's put on some radar looking for tote bots making sure those machines aren't coming too close to us that's okay because we can give, we can just bowl over them we got the terrain we have the power we have the fantastic fantastic power let's see if we take this thing off any sweet jumps whoa <laughs> But the suspension, it does work, and it's fantastic. Uh, it does bring, as you can see, a little bit of extra frame rate lag to your world. But if you don't want to use spring glitches and you want to, and you have a heavy, let's say like this is mostly for heavy rides, heavy suspension. So uh, when it comes to instead of having like the quad springs in you know one suspension, you can kind of make an actual suspension a little bit by doing this technique. So it gives you some extra options. And you know what? More options sometimes is more better. Look at that. Look at that. Look at that. What? Like a glider. It's beautiful. It's beautiful, man. It's beautiful. Very, very cool. Well, folks, welcome to the Diesel Rover. Oh, and I had so much fun during the live stream. We're going to be doing some live stream, uh, more live streams on every single Wednesday at 7 p.m. every single week right here on YouTube so make sure you subscribe hit that like button if you enjoy the build if you enjoyed this video <laughs> and I crashed oh no <laughs> oh come on son and we're back my creation is too intense my creation is just like having sex in a campground intense oh you said it but as I was alluding to before, if you enjoyed this episode, if you enjoyed this build, make sure you hit that like button and subscribe for more daily gaming videos. Live stream is going to be every single Wednesday at 7 p.m. And you can download this creation for your own world and uh, check it out, test it out, maybe even modify it, make some modifications, modifications of your own. And I would love to see those. Make sure you take a screenshot and send it to Diesel, Diesel Designs Gaming at gmail.com. Maybe do a different paint job than me. I don't know. Maybe you don't like the white and neon green. That's what I was going for. It's fantastic. It's wonderful. It's great. So, folks, everyone, have a great day, afternoon, evening, good night. Peace out, like, shout, y'all, and I will check you out right here again in Scrap Mechanic next time. This is pretty badass if it wasn't just so lag heavy. It's heavy on the lag. The bearings. It's bearing lag. Axolot, get on, get on the bearing lag, please. It causes so much lag. I want it to stop. Please make it stop. Make it stop. What a world. What a world.